Hi there, welcome to Ben's Astrophotography. This is the sixth video of my detailed narrowband processing series. If you haven't watched the previous five videos, please use the shortcut on the upper right corner to check them out. Highly recommended. In this video, I will talk about the second part of phase five, sharpening and TGVD noise. I will still do it in Pixing Sight. All three adjustments in this video needs a mask. So let's first spend some time to talk about the mask. For most adjustments in Pixing Sight, a good mask is essential. The mask is always a dark and white image. It basically tells how much strength of the adjustment should be applied on each pixel. Black areas on the mask means nothing will be applied. White means 100% application of the adjustment, and the gray area means a certain percentage of the strength. Most commonly used mask is luminance mask, meaning it separates bright areas of the image from the dark areas. That's useful because when you do sharpening, you must want to sharpen your target that's the bright areas, and you want to leave the dark background as is. Then, when you do noise reduction, you must instead want to reduce noise on the dark backgrounds and leave the highlights untouched. Okay, let's start. This is the color image uh, we left with last time. So I created four previews. One is the highlight areas and also number two is the darker uh, details. And then number three is a highlighted area with some more details too. And then number four is a transition area between highlight and uh, shadows. First thing first, we should create a mask for the sharpening. So it's super easy to do. Just hit this extract luminance button on a fixing site. It will automatically generate a luminance image on this. And I find it not perfect because the background dark areas are not really dark. So let me just use the histogram transform function to make the dark areas darker. Here, I'll create a preview and drag the, yeah, it looks better. And uh, let me check before and after. So the highlight areas are remains the same. Okay, I'll change this a little bit, make it brighter. That's it. Now this looks good. So I will just close the real time preview and apply this histogram transform to the luminance picture. Okay, the highlight is much better. Let's say let's see before and after. It looks good. So I will apply this mask onto the RGB picture. Let's get rid of that. Okay. To see it clearly, I will just put it on the full screen. Let's go to preview number one and call out the MLT sharpening. Again, the presets here are taken from lightvortex.com. It's a great website. If you haven't checked it out, try to do that. And I will just apply this directly to the preview. Let me use uh, Control Shift Z to show you before and after. This is after and before, after. See, it's not so subtle, but I think it's fine. And uh, let's move on to preview number two. I really enlarged this one very much. It's like 300% because I find out on YouTube if it's like too small, you don't really see anything. So I enlarged it very much. I will apply it and show you before and after. This is after, before, after, before and after. It's quite obvious, right? And this one too. So before, after, before and after. All right, let's try the transition area. Before, after, 
before after it's not so much I think uh, we are totally fine here so I will apply the MLT sharpening to the whole image here all right so step number one is done next is the unsharp mask which is actually a sharpening tool despite of the name the difference is MLT sharpening happens on multiple wavelets or scales while unsharp mask deals with only the edges. Thus, this is logical to do MLT sharpening to accentuate the image first, then use unsharp mask to bring the edges out even more. I also find some details about this unsharp mask algorithm from Wikipedia. In essence, it borrows the contrast from more even areas to highlight the contrast along the edge. But undoubtedly and unfortunately, it destroys the data on some extent too. So bear in mind of that and don't go too far with it. Let's go to the preview again. Okay, I use the default settings and also the mask I created in the last step. I'll just apply it right away. You see, it creates a very strong artifact and I can clear tell it's not that good here. So I'll show you before and after. This is before, which is pretty nice. And this is after. You see a lot of noise and a lot of artifact. Let's go back. Let's reduce the standard deviation to see if this makes it better. Okay, 1.5. Well, I see it better, but still not there. Let's decrease it further. I think 1.0 is good. And before, after, I think it's much better. And probably I should do it 0 0.9. Before, after, before, after. Okay, let's go to preview number two. Same thing before and after, before and after, not bad, this one too, okay, before, after, before, after, and here, because of the highlights, I'm kind of satisfied with it, I'm only uh, not happy with the mid-tone and probably the background, I should change the mask a little bit. So here is the mask again. Let's do a histogram transformation again to bring down the mid-tone so less sharpening will be applied. Let me call out a real-time preview. Let's bring the dark area even darker and see before and after. Okay, you see the mid-tone has already been reduced and I will do it further a little bit I think now it's good I'll close the real-time preview apply this histogram change to the mask and uh, apply the mask again there remember this is sharpening so I don't need to invert the mask I just use it as is let me leave it aside Close this one. Okay, let's go to the preview number four and apply this again. Before and after, before and after. Yeah, I think it's much better now. Let's go back to preview number one and apply again. Before and after, before, after. It's doing pretty well. All right, let's apply this to the whole picture. So now both sharpening are done and let me enlarge this a little bit to show you how good this is. I'm on 200% and I'll do a step back. This is undoing the unsharp mask and one more step back this is the original image. So with MLT sharpening and then the unsharp mask, it's doing well. Although we have applied both sharpening on highlight areas only, 
we still get some high frequency noises on the mid tone as well as in the dark areas. And the best tool for this type of chromatic noise is TGV denoise. And for TGV denoise, it's a little bit more complicated. We need two masks. And the method from johnrister.com is my favorite. Let me show you. Let's go back to the overview first. And now I need to remove the mask just to, to be sure. Then I will generate a luminous mask again. And then I need another mask for the TGV denoise. I'll do the duplicate. But on this one, I need to do a curve transformation to make it low contrast. The number here given by John Rista is 0 0.2 here. So I will just type in 0 0.2 and move this one all the way down to 0.5. I'll key in here too. So apply this one to the cloned luminous image and now I have a low contrast image here which will be the TGV denoise mask. So let me name it TGV mask. Once I have done this I need to use the histogram transformation again uh, to make the mid-tone like 50% gray. So, histogram, I will get this image first, TGV mask. So the histogram is shown here. I will move the mid-tone to make the to be histogram in the center, like at the peak right in the center, like here. Okay, this is a to be histogram. So I will apply this. Okay, so this TGV mask is done and I will apply it to the RGB image. And very importantly, I should invert this mask. So I go to mask menu and do the invert mask. And now we are ready for the TGV denoise. In TGV denoise, there's a local support, which is very important. I should choose a luminous mask. Okay. And uh, let's choose a preview again and just apply it as is. I will just use the default parameters. Okay, let me show you the before and after. Before, after, before and after. I think it really makes the noisy areas more smooth, but same time I think it's a bit too strong. I will reduce this one, the strength, to 4 and try it out. Okay, I think it's better. It has a very good balance between the blurring of the noisy areas and the maintenance of the highlights. Let's move on to preview number two and apply again. So this area is much darker and I, will, I should expect the noise reduction to be stronger. Yeah, definitely it is. So before and after. Okay, I will say it's not too bad. Let's go to preview number three. Okay, before and after. I think it's doing well. So I will apply the TGV noise to the whole image. Okay, let's wrap up. Let me go back all the way back to the beginning. In this video, we started with MLT sharpening. This is step number one. And then we did unsharp mask. This is step number two. And then we did TGV denoise to reduce the chromatic noise on the background. And this is step number three. Okay, so the picture 
definitely gets much better. Sharpenings are applied to highlight areas on the image only and the noise reduction is applied to dark areas only by using all these luminance masks. That's it for today. Hope you like it. By the way, if you don't want to miss out my next videos and you haven't subscribed yet, please do that now. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Clear skies.